All right, now listen very carefully. I'm going to give you two formulas that will help you for the rest of your life. Ready? Area of a rectangle is length times width. Did you get that? Length times width. Or height times width. Okay? The other one is area of a square, which is side times side or side squared. Did you get that? Here. I'm going to give you two seconds to keep memorize this formula. Okay? Area of a rectangle is length times width or height times width. And the area of a square is either side times side or side squared. Good. You have it memorized? I'm going to take it away now. Good. Good. Lesson's over now. Wasn't that really easy? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have to make sure that you understood. Here. Take a look at this example. This is a rectangle, right? What did I tell you the area of a rectangle was? Excellent. Length times width. Right? Now, why is that? Well, in an area, you just have to count how many square units there are. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. As you can see, there are 18 little boxes like this that make up this big, gigantic box. Which means, inside this rectangle, there's a total of 18 square units. Do you see that? Here, look. If you count with me, as you can see on the side here, which is known as the width, there are three square units. And if you look at this, which is the length, is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six square units. Do you see that? And if you plug it into the formula, you get, good, six times three gives you 18. Isn't that the same number I told you before, or the same number of boxes in this rectangle? Does that make sense? But the reason why I give you this formula is because you don't want to sit here all day counting boxes, do you? Because what if the box had a billion lines like this? Are you going to sit there and count a billion boxes out? No, right? You're going to take whatever the units number that they give you, like 5 by a million, right? And then you're just going to multiply 5 times a million and get 5 million squared units. Got it? Here, let's take a look at a square. It's the same thing, but the only difference is that in a square, all the sides are equal. So as you can see in this square, there's 3 square units, as is width, and as is length, there's also 3 squared units. Do you see that? That's why in an area of a square, you just have to do side times side or side squared. So what's the area of this square? Tell me. Excellent. 3 times 3, which gives you 9 squared units. Or you can do 3 squared and also get 9 squared units. It's simple, right? Good. Here, let's do one example just in case you didn't get it. I'm going to draw a nice rectangle that looks like this. Can you tell me what the area of this rectangle is if its measurements were 6 by 4 or 4 by 6? Excellent. You just have to do area of the rectangle is equal to length times width, which gives you 6 times 4, which gives you what? Excellent. 24 squared units. That was really easy, wasn't it? Okay? Now let's take a look at an example of a square. So let's say that it's side 8 by 8. Tell me, what's the area of a square? Good. A side times side, which is 8 times 8, and you get 64 squared units. Good. Or you could have done what? Excellent side squared, which you get 8 squared, and you get 64 squared units. This was really easy, wasn't it?